Dear students, today we are going to solve one more problem from JS 2022 and the question number is part A12, so part of basic mathematics. So in that question is given with theta and phi. Theta is the polar angle and phi is the azimuthal angle. And for a unit sphere, you have to calculate the expectation value of cosine square theta and expectation value of sine square theta. As you know, the expectation value of any function for spherical polar coordinate, for spherical polar coordinate, the expectation value of any function can be represented as f d tau divided by d tau, where d tau is the volume element in spherical polar coordinate and that we know actually, that is nothing but r square sin theta dr d theta and d phi. So just I'll substitute it here. So we have a function that is cosine square theta. So first I'll substitute that. So we have a cosine square theta average value and that will be cosine square theta and d tau will be like r square sin theta dr d theta dr d theta and d phi and divide by have r square sin theta dr d theta and we'll have d phi okay so substitute it here you'll have cosine square theta and that will be will have integration d phi with limit 0 to pi and that will provide sorry 0 to 2 pi that will provide 2 pi and will have an integration of r square sorry you have an integration of r square with dr and that will provide you r cube by 3 that will provide you r cube by 3 and you have a limit of theta from 0 to pi and you will have integration cosine square sine theta d theta. So this limit from 0 to pi further I can write like you will have a 2 into 0 to pi by 2 okay and you will have cosine square theta sine theta d theta and if you see that in the denominator, you will have volume element. So, integration of this will provide the volume of the sphere and that is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r cube. Also, it provides that uh, unit sphere means radius will be unity. You can keep that also, but it will be cancelled at the end. No problem. So, this will be cancelled, just you will have this integration. You have to find this integration to calculate the expectation value of cosine square theta. We will have 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2 cosine square theta, sine theta, d theta. Okay. As you know, for, in, for standard integration, you have a 0 to pi by 2 sine ki power m theta cosine ki power n theta d theta that will provide gamma m plus 1 by 2 gamma n plus 1 by 2 
डिवाइड बाय टू टाइम्स एम प्लस एन प्लस टू बाई टू अप्लाई है सो हैव थेटा की साइन थेटा की पावर ऑन इट मीन्स इट विल बी ऑन प्लस ऑन बाई टू एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट गम ऑन then we'll have theta uh, gamma 3 by 2 because n value is here 2 and then in the denominator we'll have 2 gamma on 2 plus on 3 plus 2 5 by 2 okay. so 5 by 2 means so we'll have 3 by 2 here and We we'll have two five by two gamma means we'll have three by two into three by two gamma. So this will be cancelled, and this two will be cancelled. We'll get one by three. So this will be the expected. Everything will be everything will be same. Just in place of cosine square theta, it will be sine square theta, and everything will be same. So we'll have sine square theta. And that will be zero to pi by two sine square theta sine theta that will provide sine u theta d theta. Okay, and if you calculate this, you have three plus one by two gamma three plus one by two means two gamma and two gamma value is basically on. And then you have cosine to power zero it means gamma half divided by two gamma pi by So five by two means three by two into one by two into gamma half. So if you do it, you have gamma half divided by two three by two three by two one by two, and then you'll have gamma half. So this gamma will be cancelled, or two will be cancelled, and you'll have two by three. So expectation value or average value of cos cosine square theta. That will be one by three, but for sine square theta, it will be two by three. Okay, thank you.